Photoshop 24.6, the beta release of Photoshop, comes with a great way of creating pattern designs, generative fills. You can create millions and millions of designs using generative fills, AI. All you need to do, go to Select and All, and then go to Edit, and down here to Generative Fill, or use the contextual taskbar. Just gonna paste something in, Squirrel on a hot tin roof, you could put anything, with sky in background. Click Generate, and it will take a few, few seconds, not too long, and the Properties panel, you will see three examples. It will also generate a preview, the first one. And there it is. I think that looks great, but you've got a couple of other examples. Oh, there's one with two squirrels. But what you can also do is you can go to your Libraries panel. Here's the Libraries panel. You can find that in the Window menu. And you can go down the bottom. There's a little plus. Tucked away, but you can click here, and there's Extract from Image. Very powerful command. Extract from image, you can use it to create shapes, also patterns, gradients, etc. And you can see your design there, and you can then just, now you think you'd be able to shift this, no you can't, you have to shift here, you can move it around, but also what you can do, you can scale it. There's also different options here, so you can click on these, try out different ones, but I'm just going to go with this one. And I can zoom in, so I'm just going to zoom in quite detail, also I can rotate, Again, go for that. I think that looks great. And once you're happy with the design, maybe there, save to CC libraries. So move it there, maybe select that. And again, you can always zoom in a bit more and save to CC libraries. Okay, so once you've created some pattern designs, you can close it now. So close, you haven't got your pattern yet. What you can do, go over here, libraries panel. And you've got the, obviously, window, all the various panels here. You can drag it over here. But at this point, it's not stored to your patterns. So if I go over here, it's not here. It's got this one, but that isn't that one. What you can do, you can go over here and double click. You've got the pattern fill, and you can go here to the little plus. So just go click, and then you can see it here. It's now stored to your Patterns panel. Now, you don't have to do this. You can always access it if you want, always from your libraries. But if you want it as a pattern, then it's going to be stored away in your Patterns panel there now. But what you can also do is you can scale it. So you might not like it 100%. looks a bit extreme. So you can reduce it down a lot. Maybe go for 5 or 10. And you can also rotate it. Click OK. But also what you can do, you can duplicate it or maybe use one of the other designs. Now I've got some other designs here and you can create obviously literally millions of patterns using this. So I'm just going to drag this one over and you can see now you've got another pattern fill. With that pattern fill, you can do exactly the same. Double click, brings up pattern fill panel and you can change it. Maybe again, go for 10. And again, you can change the angle and click OK. And of course, you can't see the underlying layer. But you can always go up here, blend modes, go for darken, lighten, overlay, difference, exclusion. But I'm just going to go with lighten. And once you're happy with it, you can of course flatten it. And of course, that removes the generative layer. So layer and flatten image. And of course, you can also then apply effects. So maybe go over here to filter, stylize, and Maybe oil paint makes a nice smooth, sort of lovely smeary effect there. Stylization, all set to the max, and click OK. But also you can use distortions. So filter, down to distort, and down to wave is a possible option. Set the number of generators to one, wavelength, you can vary it, and you can also randomize. So you can just randomize, you can see different designs there from the same image. I'm just gonna go with that, click OK. And you can see the result of that. But you also filter, wave, you can apply it multiple times if you want to create all kinds of unique pattern designs. 